All right, lab number seven, pre-lab part for the simulations. We're going to move into the RC circuit. Uh, so in the pre-lab sections, the calculation part, it mentions the waveform is 10 cosine omega t plus zero degrees, and your resistive value is 5, 10 ohms, and capacity is 0 0.22 mu f. So with all this information, we're going to build the circuit. Now, let's uh, first start with uh, resistors. Let's go to basic, okay, add that. Then we just go to resistors, straight for 1K. All right, and uh, capacitors, again, I'll just random put the, the so actually how 0 0.22, that will be good. Okay. Jack out it, all right, so 0 0.22, all right. So even you don't have it, it's not a big deal. You just have to adjust the values. So rotate it to the way that more convenient for you. And we get all this stuff. All right. So the circuit is like this. All right. Which is not correct for this part. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, add the function generators. So the positive part is going to go to the capacitors. All right. And this part is going to go back to your common ground. So down, this is the actual circuit. Uh, you're going to connect like that on the uh, in your actual lab. So it's pretty straightforward. And channel one is your input. So go to the input part right over here. The negative side of the channel one, which is um, the, uh, the black alligators, you will see um, the when you're actually doing the actual lab, uh, it's going to the ground, which is all connected together to your function generators. Channel B, okay, between the capacitors and the resistors, and this one also goes to the ground, okay? You can actually connect to this point, all right? I just don't connect all together, so it's easier for you to see. Okay, in your actual lab, you will see uh, channel one is using the yellow color to represent it, channel two is using green color to represent it. So I prefer to use the same color so it's easier for you to uh, understand it. Let's go back to the lab. All right, so we're going to see, so it's 10 volt peak to peak. So this information is quite important. 10 volt peak to peak on your function generator information, you're going to put five volt peak, okay? 10 volt peak to peak means five volt peak. Okay, for the frequency start with 0 0.1 K Hertz means you need 100 Hertz. Okay, or you can adjust to K and you put 0 0.1, it's the same. Okay, and it says sine wave, make sure you equip the first symbols. Now we have everything ready, then we just have to run it. Okay, now the function generator, so the scope is running, our circuit is running, we have very, very good results here. All right, so some people may, may feel hard to measure it because, you know, it's just like two wave is not um very good to see the zero crossing point so what we can do it is what you can do it is instead of um, um try your best to find it you can make your life a little bit easier just adjusting all these values okay first of all we don't need 10 ms maybe we can need a, uh, you know a little bit smaller so we don't need all that many cycles here and you know a we can uh, decrease the value so you can see it bigger and the same thing for channel B, if we decrease to uh, 200 millivolt per deviation, you can see it much more clear, right? Now I'm going to adjust the, the trace. You can see the trace, so this is trace number one. Okay, trace number one. Tra Let's put the trace number one at channel one at where the zero crossing. Okay, you can see the yellow wave represent uh, channel one, right? Channel one is your input. So let's put that zero crossing right over here. Okay, I'm using my eye to determine where that point is. If you want to be super accurate, you can also go to set value and set at zero, which will set to the zero crossing. Um, for me, I don't think this circuit you really need to do that. It's actually already pretty accurate. Okay, so I'm putting channel two here. Okay, for the green one, I'll put zero crossing. Remember, it has to be the close by one. You're not going to put one here, one here for the green one. You have to, it has to be on the close by as well. Okay, you got delta T is 2.384 ms. Okay, so 
four. Let's uh, input our values. Okay. So let's put the two two point uh two point what two point three eight four three eight four ms. Okay. All right, and then let's see. So please don't copy this. That's just doing some. Uh, but this is for other part that was doing some calculations. Okay, let's see it. So uh, also I forget one thing. So remember there is a negative sign in front of this. So minus 2.384 because my trace one is here, trace two here, trace one have to be channel one, trace two will be your output channel two. So you can see it is minus. Don't forget that minus sign, okay? So keep that minus sign. Now we're going to see the period, okay? The period will be between this yellow crossing, this yellow zero crossing part to the second zero yellow crossing. So you can see this goes to here 90 degrees, you know, 180 all the way to 360. So it's at this point here. So we're going to go to right over here. So you can see the value is 9.997. If you go F equal one over, uh, frequency is equal one over the period, then you know it's actually 10 ms. But since we are doing calculations, we're just going to go on that point. Right now. Okay, so now let's use a calculator. So we can do it is minus 2.384 divided by 9.99. We got uh, minus 23.8. So minus. Uh, minus. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, minus 23.8, and we have the times what? Times by 360 degrees. So 360, oh, one second. Minus 2.384 divided by 9.99 times 360 is equal minus 85.9. Sorry. So the, uh, the one I get is minus 85. Okay, this answer maybe may not be correct. Please check by yourself. Okay, so this is the first one I'm getting it. Uh, now let's see the second one. So second value is removing to 0 0.5 uh, kHz. Oh, and by the way, so on the motor cell simulation part, it's also asking you to find the peak value for channel one, channel two. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's very simple for you to find it. All you have to do is just, for example, on this one, you can see I'm, I'm standing on the peak value for channel two. So you just go to channel two, you'll see the peak value will be 31.201. And this one will be peak value for channel one, which is your, just your input. So it's 4.984, or supposed to be five volt peak. Okay, so pretty straightforward. So that's the values you can do it. And so we're going to move to the next columns, 500 hertz. Okay, do the same thing. Okay, it's pretty hard to see it. Just make sure you pause it. All right, so increase, sorry, decrease the time scale. Adjust this one to a higher value, so they're going to go all together. Now let's see which one I'm grabbing. So remember, grab the trace one to channel one zero crossing. So this is trace one to zero, channel one zero crossing. Then grab trace two to the uh, channel two zero crossing. You can see it's minus 396.894. So minus 390, let me just write down. So minus 396.894 mu s. All right, so we're going to go back to here. So 396.894 mu s. Okay, and then the period. Okay, we're going to see what's a period. Okay, so remember from this zero crossing to the next times from upward zero crossing. As your full cycles. So it's 1.97. It's supposed to be 2, uh, two ms. Okay, if you go the other way, so okay, 2.02. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. Okay, do the same things. So, uh, sorry, minus 0. 0.396 divided by 2. 0.002, okay, times 360 degrees. 
is minus 71 point, minus 71 point, sorry, uh, 208 degrees, 208 degrees, okay? So you just continue to complete everything, all right? Just complete the entire table with the same method. Make sure you always adjust the time-based scale, channel A scale, channel B scale. This is very important for later on when you're doing any different math, okay? So now let's see it. Let's see if we what they're showing this part. I'm going to delete this connections. And I'm going to delete this connection too. So all I have to do is go to the basic and go to inductors. Then we go find the focus add one in there. They're just a value afterward. Again, rotate it. Okay, so I'm going to rotate it. All right, so the value is 4.7 millihams. All right, then channel A, we like to see yellow. Channel B, we like to see green. It's, the color is, doesn't matter. The only reason I chose uh, yellow and green was because in the lab rooms, the channel uh, one and channel two are, are using yellow and green. So which is the same color you're going to use it. So it's easier for you to see it. Okay, uh, I'm not starting with 100, I'm starting with 500. Um, but if you do 100, you will see the value, the phase difference is zero. Uh, you will see the reason uh, by yourself. I'm pretty sure. So let me just increase it down a little, little bit. Okay, so this, this part is a little bit tough. Okay, some people say there's no phase difference. It's actually there is phase difference. There is space different. It's, it's look like they are almost overlapping on the uh, zero crossing part, but don't worry if you go very carefully. If we increase this one, okay, what we can do it is increase this to a, a little bit lower one. Okay, lower one. Increase this one too. You can see the difference now. You can see they are actually not exactly overlapping, right? You can see there is a time difference here. So let's grab. Remember, we want one to be on the on the zero crossing. So you can see it's tracing the yellow trace. And I'm going to put this set values as zero. Okay, so it's at zero now. Now you're going to grab the the number two. Okay, number two is also tracing. Uh, channel one now. So you're going to change, select trace. Okay, you're just going to trace the channel B now. Okay, so what I want you to do with this, you set the value, okay, set one value to zero. Okay, so now it's going to cross. You can see it's now both are set on the zero crossing for both. You can see the value is 9.253. So the value is 9.253. Okay, so for RL circuit, Okay, this one I didn't do it. You can do it by yourself, but uh, the answer will be zero anyway. You will find it. Uh, you will find it by yourself. Um, the, uh, the analysis why zero, but that I'm not going to do. It, but this one is nine point two five three. Okay, nine point two five three mils. Two five three mils. And remember, this time the value is positive because you will trace one. Is on the left side of your trace two. So that means the time is positive compared to uh, your input. So output is on the right side is positive, the output is on the left side is negative, okay, for the phase difference. Um, then now we're just going to divide it away. So I haven't find the, the, the period, but period will be something around two, M, two ms, okay. So we just, uh, you can find by yourself. I'm just going to skip that and do it quickly. All right, so it's going to be 0 0.00925 ms divided by two, okay? And times 360s, we have 1.665 degrees. So positive 1.665 degrees. All right, so this is for RL circuit and uh, you just need to complete the table for the RL circuit part. Okay, so the same thing you just completed. All right, uh, any questions, please feel free to let me know it, or I will show another um, demo for the live version too. Thank you very much, enjoy your day.